Wealthy people are not lucky. They're doing something that the other people are not doing. Striking it rich is not a fluke. It takes hard work, fearlessness, and a growth mindset. Persistence creates opportunities, and luck eventually comes to those who refuse to quit on their dreams and goals. Many self-made millionaires have the ability to see what is invisible to others and come up with creative solutions and alternate routes to success. Millionaires aren't made overnight. Some self-made millionaires started out making expensive mistakes that negatively impacted their financial health, just like anyone else. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Here are the habits of the richest self-made millionaires that you can incorporate into your financial life as well. Side hustles are for everyone, including millionaires. They make a side hustle work by investing in something that will generate more passive income rather than devoting hours each week to actively making money. For example, you could invest in real estate as a landlord and have a management company handle day-to-day -day operations. Perhaps you could start a YouTube channel about your goal of becoming a millionaire. And with enough subscribers, you could have advertising revenue added to your bank account. Assume you're a blogger and a writer who gets paid to create content. You can, however, sell digital courses in which you teach others how to become well-paid writers. Alternatively, you can self-publish and sell books on the subject on Amazon. You can also make money through affiliate sales by recommending products that you use in your business. This simply means growing your business in your spare time. While this appears to be nearly impossible for most people, it is clearly the way most self-made millionaires do it, because it appears that every millionaire in the book aims to diversify their main source of income and generate multiple income streams, each of which is equally valuable. Earning money is like driving a car or combing your hair or getting dressed. You just have to learn how to do it. And once you learn how to do it, you can put it on automatic pilot. And of course you put it on automatic pilot that it keeps growing. Self-made millionaires also make sure that their money is working for them. They do this by investing their money so it can grow and bring them passive income. Even when they're not working, their money is. Some millionaires have found that investing their money now can pay them dividends later. So it may be smart to look into different investment options that are right for you. It also is good to think about having a diverse portfolio that may include stocks and bonds, real estate, or a high yield savings account. One way to invest money is index funds. These types of mutual or exchange traded funds tend to be diverse. That could mean better returns than trying to pick and choose individual stocks. Index funds also tend to have low fees compared to a financial advisor or funds with an active manager. Experts consider stock and real estate investments to be the most consistent long-term passive source of income. Here's why. Allowing your income to be consistent means letting the profit pile up without spending it or reducing the amount you invested. Ideally, you will only increase the amount, but if you allow yourself to be patient over time and reinvest your earnings, you will earn compounded interest, profit on your profit. Veteran investors, on the other hand, believe that this will only work if your investment strategy is low risk, long term, and passive, working in the background while you do other things. If you learn never to work for money, you'll be a rich man. Debt is not a part of the lives of self-made millionaires. They may have credit cards, but they don't have any outstanding balances. Although some millionaires use credit cards, they rarely carry a balance to avoid paying interest. Rather than paying a bank 16% or higher in interest, they are investing in themselves and their future. This may seem obvious, but avoiding debt is a good habit that can help your overall financial situation. Aside from their mortgages, self-made millionaires make it a point to reduce and eliminate all debt. If you want to accumulate wealth, you cannot afford to pay interest on consumer credit, such as credit cards and even car loans. Cars lose value the moment you drive them off the lot. Self-made millionaires typically buy, rather than lease, any new car with the intention of keeping it for a long time, allowing them to save money that would otherwise go toward a monthly payment. If you must finance the car, 
pay it off as soon as possible and plan to keep the car long after the loan is paid off. Also, try to avoid using credit cards because most credit cards charge exorbitant interest when you carry a balance. Prioritize paying these balances off in full and on time every month to maintain a good credit score. Charge only what you know you can pay back and avoid using store credit cards in general. Avoid credit cards. Just forget about them. Uh, we're in various businesses that issue credit cards. The American public loves credit cards. But if you start revolving debt on credit cards, you're going to be paying uh, 18 or 20 percent. And you can't make progress in your financial life going around borrowing money at 18 or 20 percent. You can make a lot of money by lending it out at 18 or 20 percent over time. Uh, you know, if you can find anybody that's good that uh, will borrow from you. But you don't want to be on the side of the equation. Self-made millionaires are more disciplined and better at delaying gratification. They avoid overspending on things they don't need, especially when they're young, allowing them to invest at a young age. That makes a significant difference. If you start at 20 and want to retire at 65 with $1 million, you could do so by investing $116 per month. However, starting at 40 will cost you $847 per month. There's nothing wrong with spending money on yourself. In fact, it's a good idea to set aside some money each month for guilt-free spending. The key is to strike a balance by consistently saving and investing money. Keeping up with the Joneses is a common way for people to get into debt, but living beyond your means will eventually catch up with you. If you want to build wealth, resist the desire to have the latest and greatest gadgets. So much money is wasted these days on constant upgrades, which can cost you both money and lost opportunity. It's natural to want to compare your life to that of others, but reconsider your lifestyle and budget, focusing on what's most important for your own personal goals. These are the wants and needs that are truly important to your bottom line and happiness. There will most likely be some sacrifices, changes in habits, or sticking to a budget, but becoming a self-made millionaire may be possible. Set a goal for how much you want to save and then take some time to consider possible options for getting you above the million dollar mark. Saving money only to have to spend it on an emergency expense can be discouraging. You could also take a chance on an investment that fails or a side hustle that fails. It can be difficult to get back up, but success is still possible if you are determined to get back in the fight and try again to achieve your financial goals. It's not easy to become a millionaire and how you handle setbacks along the way may determine whether you have any new successes. Begin practicing the habits that will benefit you in the future by subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment in the comment section below on which habit you will begin implementing. And please check the video at the end screen.